Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Cohen's D for a one sample t-test using SPSS. This does require SPSS 27. It's a new feature in SPSS 27. Um, probably will remain uh, also for higher versions. If uh, It's only about the instructions on how to obtain the value uh, on my website peterstatistics.com if you go to one variable scale variable and then effect size you can read a little bit more about Cohen's D uh, how to interpret it and it already mentions that it's not possible I'll upload this video there soon uh, for version 27 if you have an earlier version um, you can use the output of the one sample t-test and enter the values that you get there in here and you should get the same result now in version 27 they've become nicer and actually added the effect size so you can go to analyze compare means one sample t-test uh, I'll reset because I just did it to test everything out I'll select my age as my scale variable I will have an hypothesized uh, population mean of 50 and as you can see it now has a new option estimate effect size so I'll leave that checked and click on OK. In the output I now nicely get Cohen's D and the point estimate of it is 0.012 so and that's um, if we look at that it's actually uh, very very low so it's not even though it's a significant uh, difference from the hypothesized mean of 50 um, it's not a very big difference. And that's it. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.